faithful God is a faithful God. How oh, good day everyone it's another wonderful moment on Jitayo's world <laughs> I'm excited to come your way again today on your darling program Jitayo's world sponsored by Jitayo Music Production North Carolina USA Thanks to my DCA God bless you <laughs> regards to blessing that's my girl God bless you Today your joy is with me in the studio here fine boy no pimples and to the CEO, Jitaya Music Production, Olu Akade, more wins, more wins. Regards to Ashake Oki, <laughs> regards to her. And let me say happy wedding anniversary, Ebarani Kaleo. Ah, good morning once again. I am Dele Ogontola, your hand command. So sit back as we enjoy the program. Blessed be the Lord, my rock and my strength. All right, um, let us go straight to the first segment of the program. This is my story. My name is Samuel Medley. I was born in Cheshunt, England. In 1738, my father was a school proprietor who gave me a good education. Then he apprenticed me so that I could learn a business. I did not like the work, so I joined the Royal Navy. British ships were patrolling the shores of West Africa in an attempt to establish colonies there. When I was 21 years old, my ship engaged the French fleet near the port of Lagos and I was severely wounded. I had to retire from active service in the Navy. While I was recovering from my wounds, someone read one of Dr. Isaac Watt's sermon to me, and I was converted. I joined a Baptist church in London. To earn my living, I opened a school that was very successful. I began to preach, at times, for various pastors. When I was 29 years old, I received a call to become pastor of the Baptist church in Watford. Five years later, I was called as pastor of Birum Street Baptist Church in Liverpool. The congregation grew so large that a new building was needed. How we all rejoiced. My hymns were first printed in leaflets or in magazines. My first hymna, published in 1785, had 42 hymns, and a second edition was published that same year. I eventually published five hymn books containing more than 100 of my hymns. Near the end of my life, I had a long and painful illness, but because my people loved me and was popular and useful, I passed on till the Lord took me home in 1799 at the age of 61. Let me sing a stanza for you from one of my hymns. I will sing the stanza from I Know That My Redeemer Lives. Is my story. And that was um, the story of Pastor Samuel Medley, born June 23, 1738. Despite his long and painful illness, he stands for Christ. God is whispering to someone this morning that stands for me. Stand for me, be useful for me, make yourself available for me. Will you akin to that voice today? Take a step this morning to be ready for Christ always. This is my story. Now let us open up our hearts to enjoy the music of the day. The title of the track is Ask. Yes, Ask. Shut 
love is right unto the Lord, that thou may bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hands be with me. Love is right unto the Lord, that thou may bless me and enlarge my territory.
hands and shake it together That was the music of Oluwakade. To enjoy this music the more, you can download it, go to iTunes, Boomplay, or any other digital platforms. You will surely get the links of Oluwakade's music on Jitayo Music's social media. So, follow Oluwakade on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So, subscribe on Oluwakade's YouTube, hmm? at Oluwakade. And you can chat on WhatsApp on plus one Plus one two three one six two zero four two zero eight. Because of our time, let us listen to the word for the week from the CEO Jitter Music Production, North Carolina, USA. Good day, everyone. Welcome to another week. My name is Olua Kande. Uh, last week we established the fact that our worries magnify the problem, but worship magnify God. So, what do you want to magnify? The God that wants to solve the problem or the actual problem. What to focus on will actually be magnified. So let's focus on God. Why God is fighting the battle for us. Why God is solving the problem. And creating ways, making ways in all the challenges. We're going to talk about part three. Hope in truth. Hope in truth. Unlike everyone or everything in this world, we grow old. But God remains the same forever. He doesn't change. He doesn't age. He's everlasting God. He will not grow older tomorrow, neither will he become weaker next year. He doesn't dwell in time, he dwells in eternity. In Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 says, Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today and forevermore. Hmm. He does not change. He does not change my brethren. Though Jesus came to the world through the Virgin Mary, he was born just like we are born. 2000 years ago, uh, after Abraham was born, Yet he said in John chapter 8, verse 58, he said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, before Abraham was, I am. He's the one that laid the foundation of the world and made the heaven. This means he has been existing before the head and the heaven were created. You agree with me? And it will still be after everything and everything is gone. Confirm that from Psalm 102, verse 25 to 27. Now listen, the never changing nature of God gives us the assurance that all his promises concerning us are yea and amen. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter how long ago God made a promise to you. Just hold on to it. He will bring it to pass. My brother and sister, there was a time everything looked impossible for me. In fact, all signs around physically, mathematically, what you can think of emotionally, whatever we can think about, shows impossibility. But I held on to his promises. Today, they have been fulfilled one after another. Hallelujah. So no matter how great a task is, as long as God is with you, you have succeeded already. You are a success already. God is with me. He is a hope. He is an hopeful situation. All he needs is your courage, not experience even sometimes, connection or skills. He needs your courage. He told Joshua in the book of uh, Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, he's talking about the courage. So what God needs is your boldness, your courage in the presence of the Lord. So no matter what he has promised, he's going to bring it to pass. Hallelujah. So let's hold on to the promise of the Lord Almighty and it shall be well with us in Jesus name. We'll continue from here to the part four next week and remain blessed. Hallelujah. Shalom. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. We are with part four of Open Truth next week by God's grace. Ah, so that will be all for today. That will be all for today on Jitter's Word. Hope you did not forget the upcoming event, the upcoming program, Tagged Rehoboth, fully powered by Jitter Music Production, North Carolina, USA. We want to praise God together in the city of Oguma Show by December this year. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. And so, my good people, we will meet next week for another fresh episode of the program, Jitayos World. Jitayos World, a world of music. Tunde Ojo is with me in the studio, so let us call it a day today. By God's grace, we'll meet next week. My name is Dele Ogotola Johan Koman. Stay blessed. As any shall be given unto you, may your presence shake it together.